वेलकम टू क्वालिटी मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम नेपाल प्राइवेट लिमिटेड इंजीनियरिंग रिसोर्स एडिक्वेसी इज क्रुशियल फर इफेक्टिव लैबोरेटरी ऑपरेशन टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट क्लास सिक्स रिसोर्सेस रिक्वायरमेंट्स सिक्स पॉइंट वन जेनरल द लैबोरेटरी सेल हैव अवेलेबल पर्सनल फैसिलिटीज इक्विपमेंट रियाज एंड कंज्यूमेबल्स एंड सपोर्ट सर्विस नेसेसरी टू मैनेज एंड परफॉर्म इट्स एक्टिविटीज सिक्स पॉइंट टू पर्सनल एसेस टू कॉम्पिटेंट पर्सनल इज भाइटर इम्पार्शियलिटी इथिकल कंडक्ट एंड एडेरेंस टू द मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम आर इसेंशियल सिक्स पॉइंट टू पर्सनल कॉम्पिटेंस रिक्वायरमेंट कॉम्पिटेंस स्पेसिफिकेशन फॉर इच फंक्शन इन्फ्लुजिंग रिजल्ट प्रोसेस फॉर मैनेजिंग एंड डॉक्यूमेंटिंग पर्सनल कॉम्पिटेंस All personnel of the laboratory, either internal or external, that could be influence the laboratory activities, shall act impartially, ethically, be competent, and work in accordance with the laboratory's management system. The laboratory shall communicate to laboratory personnel the importance of meeting the needs and requirement of users, as well as the requirement of this document. The laboratory shall have a program to introduce personnel to the organization, the department, or area in which the personnel will work. The terms and condition of employment, staff facilities, health and safety requirements, and occupational health services. 6.2.2 Competence Requirement. The laboratory shall specify the competence requirements for each function, influencing the results of laboratory activities, including. requirements for education qualification training retraining technical knowledge skills and experience the laboratory shall ensure all personnel have the competence to perform laboratory activities for which they are responsible the laboratory shall have a process for managing competence of its personnel that includes requirement for frequency of competence assessment the laboratory shall have documented information demonstrating competence of its personnel Examples of competence assessment method that can be used in any combination include direct observation of an activities monitoring the recording and reporting of examination results review of work records assessment of problem solving skills examination of specially provided samples example previously examined samples inter laboratory comparison materials or split samples 6.2.3 authorization the laboratory shall authorize personnel to perform specific laboratory activities including but not limited to the following selection department modification validation and verification of methods review release and reporting of results c use of laboratory information system in particular assessing patient data and information entering patient data and examination result changing patient data or examination results 6.2.4 continuing education and professional development a continuing education program shall be available to personnel who participate in managerial and technical processes all personnel shall participate in continuing education and regular professional development or other professional liaison activities the suitability of the programs and activities shall be periodically reviewed Six point two point five. Personnel records. The laboratory shall have procedure to retain and record for determining the competence requirement specified in six point two point two a. Position description. C. Training and retraining. D. Authorization of personnel. E. Monitoring competence of personnel. Six point three. Facilities and environmental condition. Six point three point one. General. The facilities and environmental conditions shall be suitable for the laboratory activities and shall not adversely affect the validity of results or the safety of patient, visitors, laboratory users, and personnel. This shall include pre-examination related facilities and sites other than the main laboratory premises where examination are performed, as well as POCT. The requirements for facilities and environmental condition necessary for the performance of the laboratory activities. Shall be specified, monitored, and recorded. ISO 15190 provides details for facility and environmental condition. Environmental condition that can adversely affect the validity of the result include, but are not limited to, adventitious amplified nucleic acid microbial contamination, dust, electromagnetic disturbances, radiation, lightning condition, illumination, 
ह्यूमिडिटी इलेक्ट्रिकल सप्लाई टेम्परेचर साउंड एंड भाइब्रेस सिक्स पॉइंट थ्री पॉइंट टू फैसिलिटी कंट्रोल फैसिलिटी कंट्रोल सेल बी इम्प्लिमेंटेड रेकर्डेड मोनिटर पेरिट्रिकली रिव्यूड एंड सेल इन्क्लूड ए कंट्रोल अफ एसेस टेकिंग इंटू कन्सिडरेशन सेफ्टी कन्फिडेन्सियलिटी क्वालिटी एंड सेफ गार्डिंग मेडिकल इन्फर्मेशन एंड पैसेंट सैंपल बी प्रिवेंशन अफ कंटामिनेसन इंटरफेरेंस और एडवर्स इन्फ्लुएंसेस ऑन लेबोरेटरी एक्टिविटीज दैट कैन एराइज फ्रॉम इनर्जी सोर्सेस लाइटिंग भेंटिलेशन नोइज वाटर एंड वाटर डिस्पोजल सी प्रिवेंशन अफ क्रस कंटामिनेसन वेयर एक्जामिनेसन प्रोसिजियर पोज अर रिस्क और वेयर वर्क कैन बी एफेक्टेड और इन्फ्लुएंस बाय लैक अफ सेपरेशन डी प्रोविजन अफ सेफ्टी फैसिलिटीज एंड डिवाइसेस वेयर एक्लिपेबल एंड रेगुलरली भेरिफाइंग देयर फंक्शनिंग एक्जाम्पल्स द ऑपरेशन अफ इमरजेंसी रिलीज इंटरकम एंड एलार्म सिस्टम फर कोल्ड रूम एंड वाल्क इन फ्रिजर एसेसिबिलिटी अफ इमरजेंसी सावर आई वाश एंड रिसर्सिटेशन इक्विपमेंट E. Maintenance of laboratory facilities in a functional and reliable condition. 6.3.3 Storage facilities. Storage space with condition that ensure the continuing integrity of sample equipment, reagents, consumables, document, and record shall be provided. B. Patient sample and materials used in examination process shall be stored in a manner that prevents cross contamination and deterioration. C. Storage and disposable facilities for hazardous materials and biological waste. shall be appropriate to the classification of the materials in the context of any statutory or regulatory requirements Six point three point personal facilities. There shall be adequate access to toilet facilities and a supply of drinking water as well as facilities for storage of personal protective equipment and clothing. Space for personal activities such as meetings, quiet study and rest area should be provided. 6.3.5 sample collection facilities sample collection facilities shall a enable collection to be undertaken in a manner that does not invalidate results or adversely affect the quality of examinations b consider privacy comfort and needs example disable access toilet facility of patient and accommodation of accompanying persons example garden or interpreter during collection c provide separate patient reception and collection areas D. Maintain first aid materials for both patient and personnel. Note ISO 20658 provides detail for sample collection facilities. Six point four equipment. Six point four point one general. The laboratory shall have processes for the selection, procurement, installation, accepted testing, including acceptability criteria, handling, transport, storage, use, maintenance, and decommissioning of equipment in order to ensure proper functioning and to prevent contamination or deterioration note laboratory equipment includes hardware and software of instrument measuring system and laboratory information system or any equipment that influences the results of laboratory activities including sample transportation systems 6.4.2 equipment requirements A. The laboratory shall have access to equipment required for the correct performance of laboratory activities. B. Where the equipment is used outside the laboratory's permanent control or equipment manufacturer's functional specifications, laboratory management shall ensure that the requirements of this document are met. C. Each item of equipment that can influence laboratory activities shall be uniquely labeled, marked, or otherwise identified as a register maintained. D. The laboratory shall maintain and replace equipment as needed to ensure the quality of examination results. 6.4.3 Equipment Acceptance Procedure. The laboratory shall verify the the equipment conforms to specified acceptability criteria before being placed or returned into service. Equipment used for measurement shall be capable of achieving either the measurement accuracy or measurement uncertainty or both required to provide a valid result. See 7.3.3 and 7.3.4 for details. Note one. This includes equipment used in the laboratory equipment on loan. or equipment used in point of care settings or in associated or mobile facilities authorized by the laboratory note 2 the verification of equipment acceptance testing can be where relevant based on the calibration certificate of the returned equipment 6.4.4 equipment instruction for use a the laboratory shall have appropriate safeguards to prevent unintended adjustment of equipment that can invalidate examination results 
B. Equipment shall be operated by trained, authorized, and competent personnel. C. Instruction for the use of equipment, including those provided by the manufacturers, shall be readily available. D. The equipment shall be used as specified by the manufacturer unless validated by the laboratory. C. 7.3.3 6.4.5 Equipment Maintenance and Repair A. The laboratory shall have preventive maintenance programs based on manufacturer instruction. Deviations from the manufacturer's schedules or instructions shall be recorded. B. Equipment shall be maintained in a safe working condition and working order. This shall include electrical safety, any emergency stop devices, and the safe handling and disposal of hazardous material by authorized personnel. The equipment that is defective or outside specified requirements shall be taken out of service. It shall be clearly labeled or marked as being out of service until it has been verified to perform correctly. The laboratory shall examine the effect of the defect or deviation from specified requirement and shall initiate actions when non-confirming work occurs. D. When applicable, the laboratory shall decontaminate equipment before service, repair or decommissioning provide suitable space for repairs and provide appropriate personal protective equipment. 6.4.0 Equipment Adverse Incident Reporting Adverse incident and accident that can be attributed directly to specific equipment shall be investigated and reported to either the manufacturer or supplier or both and appropriate authorities as required. The laboratory shall have procedure for responding to any manufacturer's recall or other notice and taking actions recommended by the manufacturer. 6.4.7 Equipment Records Records shall be maintained for each item of equipment that influences the result of laboratory activities. This record shall include the following where relevant. A. Manufacturer and supplier details and sufficient information to uniquely identify each item of equipment including software and firmware. B. Dates of received acceptance, testing and entering into service. C. Evidence that equipment conforms with specified acceptability criteria. D. The current location. E. Condition when received, new, used or reconditions. F. Manufacturer instructions. G. The program for preventive maintenance as any maintenance activities performed by the laboratory or approved external service provider i damage to malfunction modification or repair of the equipment j equipment performance record such as reports or certificates of calibration or verification or both including dates time and results k status of the equipment such as active or in services, out of service, quarantined, retired, or obsolete. This record shall be maintained and shall be readily available for the lifespan of the equipment or longer as specified in 8.4.3. 6.5 Equipment calibration and methodological traceability. 6.5.1 General The laboratory shall specify calibration and traceability requirements that are sufficient to maintain consistent reporting of examination results for quantitative methods of a measured analyte specifications shall include calibration and methodological traceability requirements qualitative methods and quantitative methods that measure characteristics rather than discrete analytes shall specify the characteristic being assessed and such requirements necessary for reproducibility over time Note, examples of qualitative methods and quantitative methods that may not allow metrological traceability include red cell antibody detection, antibiotic sensitivity assessment, genetic testing, erythrocyte sedimentation rate, flow cytometry, marker staining, and tumor HCR2 immunohistochemical staining. 6.5.2 Equipment Calibration the laboratory shall have procedure for the calibration of equipment that directly or indirectly affects examination results. The procedure shall specify a condition of use and manufacturer instruction for calibration, b recording of the metrological traceability, c verification of the required measurement accuracy and the functioning of the measurement system at specified intervals. 
the recording the calibration status and date of recalibration e ensuring that where correction factor are used these are updated and recorded when recalibration occurs you have handling of situation where calibration was out of control to minimize risk to service operation and to patient 6.5.3 metrological traceability of measurement results a. The laboratory shall establish and maintain metrological traceability of its measurement results by means of a documented unbroken chain of calibration is contributing to the measurement uncertainty linking them to an appropriate reference. Note, information of traceability to a higher or reference material or reference procedure can be provided by an examination system manufacturer. Such documentation is acceptable only when the manufacturer's examination system and calibration procedures are used without modification b the laboratory shall ensure that measurement results are traceable to the highest possible level of traceability and to the international system of unit si through calibration provided by a competent laboratory or note one calibration laboratory fulfilling the requirements of iso ic 17025 are considered competent for performing calibrations certified values of certified difference material provided by a competent producer with stated Metrological traceability to the SI. No. 2. Reference material pr producer fulfilling the requirements of ISO 17034 are considered to be competent. No. 3. Certified reference material fulfilling the requirements of ISO 15194 are considered suitable. C. Where it is not possible to provide traceability according to 6.5.3.A. Other means for providing confidence in the results shall be applied including but not limited to the following. Results of reference measurement procedures, specified methods or consensus standards that are clearly described and accepted as providing measurement results fit for their intended use and ensured by suitable comparison. Measurement of calibrated by another procedure. Note ISO. 17511 provides further information on how to manage the compromises in the meteorological traceability of measurements. D. For genetic examination, traceability to genetic reference sequences shall be established. E. For qualitative methods, traceability may be demonstrated by testing of known material or previous sample sufficient to show consistency identification and when applicable intensity of reaction 6.6 .6, reagent and consumables 6.6.1 .6 general the laboratory shall have processes for the selection procurement reception storage acceptance testing and inventory management of reagent and consumables note reagents include substances which are commercially supplied or prepared in-house reference materials Calibrators and QC materials, culture media consumables include pipette, tips, glass, slides, POCT supplies, etc. 6.6.2 Reagents and consumables receipt and storage. The laboratory shall store reagents and consumables according to the manufacturer's specifications and monitor the environmental conditions when relevant. When the laboratory is not the receiving facility, it shall verify that the receiving facility has adequate storage and handling capabilities to maintain supplies in a manner that prevents damage and deterioration. 6.6.3 Reagents and consumables accepted testing Each reagent or new formulation of examination kits with changes in reagent or procedure or a new lot or shipment shall be verified for performance before placing into use or before release of results as appropriate. Consumables that can affect the quality of examinations shall be verified for performance before placing into use. Note 1. Comparative IQC performance of new reagent lots and that of previous lots can be used as evidence for acceptance. C7.3.7.2. Patient samples are prepared when comparing different reagent lots to avoid issue with commutability of IQC materials note to verification can sometimes be based on the certificate of analysis of the reagent 6.6.4 reagents and consumables inventory management the laboratory shall establish and 
inventory management system for reagents and consumables the system for inventory management shall segregate reagents and consumables that has been affected for use from those that have been neither inspected nor accepted for use 6.65 reagents and consumables instruction for use instruction for the use of reagents and consumables including those provided by the manufacturers shall be readily available reagents and consumables shall be used according to the manufacturer's specifications if they are intended to be used for other purpose see 7.3.3 6.6.6 reagent and consumables adverse incident reporting adverse incidents and accidents that can be attributed directly to specific reagents or consumables shall be investigated and reported to either the manufacturer or supplier or both and appropriate authorities as required the laboratory shall have procedures for responding to any manufacturer's recall or other notice and taking actions recommended by the manufacturer 6.6.7 reagents and consumables records records shall be maintained for each reagents and consumables that contributes to the performance of examinations this record shall include but not be limited to the following identification of the reagent or consumable b manufacturer's information including instruction name and batch code or lot number c date of receipt and condition when receive the expiry date date of first use and where applicable the date the reagent or consumable was taken out of service d records that confirm the reagents or consumables initial and ongoing acceptance for use where the laboratory uses reagents prepared resuspended or combined in house the record shall include in addition to the relevant information above reference to the person or person undertaking the preparation as well as dates of preparation and expiry 6.7 service agreements 6.7.1 agreements with laboratory users the laboratory shall have a procedure to establish and periodically review agreements for providing laboratory activities the procedure shall ensure the requirements are adequately specified the laboratory has the capability and resources to meet the requirements 6 when applicable the laboratory advises the user or the specific activities to be performed by referral laboratory and consultant laboratory users shall be informed of any changes to an agreement that can affect examination results records of reviews including any significant changes shall be written 6.7.2 agreements with poct operators service agreements between the laboratory and other parts of the organization using laboratory supported poct shall ensure that respective responsibility and authority are specified and communicated Note established multidisciplinary POCT committees can be used to manage such service agreements as described in Annex A. 6.8 externally provided products and services. 6.8.1 general the laboratory shall ensure that externally provided products and services that affect laboratory activities are suitable when such products and services are intended for corporation into the laboratory's own activities. Provided in part or in full directly to the user by the laboratory as received from the external provider. C used to support the operation of the laboratory. It can be necessary to collaborate with other organizational department or functions to fulfill this requirement. Note: Services include sample collection services, pipette and other calibration services, facility and equipment maintenance services, EQA programs, referral laboratories and consultants. Six point eight point two. Referral laboratories and consultants. The laboratory shall communicate its requirement to referral laboratories and consultants who provide interpretation and advice for the procedure, examination reports, and consulting activities to be provided. B. Management of critical results. C. Any required personal qualification and demonstration of competence, unless otherwise specified in the agreement, the referring laboratory and not the referral laboratory shall be responsible for ensuring that examination results of the referral laboratory are provided to the person making the request a list of all referral laboratories and consultants shall be maintained 6.8.3 review and approval of externally provided products and services the laboratory shall have procedure and written record for defining reviewing and approving the laboratory's requirement for all externally provided products and services defining the criteria for qualification selection evaluation of performance and reevaluation of external providers c referral of samples D. Ensuring that externally provided products and services conform to the 
laboratories establish requirements or where applicable to the relevant requirements of this document before they are used or directly provided to the user. E. Taking any action arising from evaluation of the performance of external providers. So in the next presentation video, we will discuss about the cross seven. So if you have any question, feel free to write in the comments section and please like this video, share with your colleagues, which may find it beneficial and also subscribe to our channel so that you will get notification related to ISO certification whenever we upload new video in this channel. Thank you. Happy learning.